What's up guys? Derek here from Wilson Audio Labs. Today we're going to test the most ridiculous amplifier I've ever tested to date. That's right, Kingwood RK904. Stick around to see what this amp is all about. My name is Derek and I test amplifiers to see how much power they actually put out. If you enjoy those kind of things, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Let's go on and see what we have today. Alright, so as promised, we're going to take a look at this Kingwood 1000 watt turbocharged audio product. Yeah, what does turbocharged mean? It does say it's max power, 4 channel power IC amplifier with built in subwoofer. Built in what? Good evening, friends. Dick Riculous here, reporting live for WBIGD TV. All right, so you know it's bad when Dick Riculous has to join us. Here's the box, though. It looks pretty slick. High efficiency heat sink, power on indicator. That's nice to have. Let's take it out of the box. But hold on. Let's back up a little bit. Put it back in the box. What do we got here, and what is this all about? Well, this is what we call flea market amplifier and the idea of these is when you're out at a flea market you run across a vendor that's selling something like this you see these amps they all look kind of cool i guess in some ways the vendors try to make them look so they look like something that you might recognize and in this case all these other flea market amps you might say man this thing looks a lot like an amp that i've seen my friend have like a rockford amp right it's named Kingwood, so it sounds like Kenwood. So you're just confused. And it's a super good price. It says 1,000 watts on the box. You're like, yep, I got to get this. Well, here is a comparison with the Rockford Fosgate. You can see how close they look. It is pretty similar. And again, it says 1,000 watts, and we, we think we can trust people. Well, let's take off these side caps here. And the funny thing about it, and very ironic is... These side caps have nothing to do with covering up the terminals, which is what most side caps do, like on the Rockford Fosgate amp. And of course, the side caps here are plastic. They feel very cheap, very flimsy, compared to the Rockford ones, which are cast aluminum. Now let's take a look at the dimensions. About 11 and a half inches wide by 10 inches tall. That's with the end caps included. There's a metric equivalence as well. And then the height is right around 2 inches or 51 millimeters. Now let's take a look on the end here. You can see the subwoofer offer on, high level input, ground, ignition, B+, 15 amp fuse, low RCA input, rear level control, and front level control. And on the opposite end, which is the top of the amp, you can see the speaker outputs. And here on the top of the amp, it looks like it's got two little openings either for fans or for speakers not real sure we'll have to check that out what is under here let's take the screws out and oh yeah got he. <laughs> got he. <laughs> Damn, you, know it's true. you big dummy now we'll flip the amplifier over take out the four phillips head screws here and check out the inside but before we do that the bottom plate of this amp is super thick steel. Probably would protect you from a speeding bullet from somebody trying to pop a cap in you for stealing this. No, you don't have to worry about that. But here's a picture of the guts. Did you see that? Got it! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> where's the beef? Hey, where's the beef? I don't think there's anybody back there. So you really don't have to know much about amplifiers to notice by looking at the guts here. There's not a lot going on. Single-sided board all through the whole components. And the audio amplification is based on this TDA-1558 chip. And you see here's a spec sheet rated 2 by 22 watts or 4 by 11. Since there's two chips here, we're going to assume it's 4 by 22. Here's a gut shot comparison of the Kingwood on the left. Rockford Fosgate punch 120A2 on the right. The Rockford's only rated 30 watts by two. So it gives you an idea of how much of a joke the Kingwood is. So now let's get it up on the bench. Even though we know it's not going to be very impressive, 
let's get it wired up here and yeah you can see we got it hooked up to the dyno we've got the front two channels going to the dyno and then we have the rear channels going to the dummy loads that way we have all the channels loaded let's power up the amp we'll also turn on the amp dyno those who are not aware the amplifier dyno measures rms power output from an amplifier so here we go we're going to first start off with a four ohm test again we're testing all four channels we're actually testing two and all four channels are loaded so here we go certified which takes us up to one percent thd at one kilohertz 12 and 14 watts yes you read that correctly uncertified takes us up to clipping 15 watts and 14 watts yep dynamic power hold on to your hats <laughs> 15 watts and 14 watts wow so now we'll try the two ohm test the amplifier is rated to handle two ohm loads per channel and we'll do certified first and it did not like this test at two ohms you can see six watts and five watts it did not count up but we we're expecting somewhere around 22 to 25 watts uncertified takes us up to clipping we were able to run this test and again, we use the one kilohertz tone. Here we go. 21 watts and 25 watts. So right about what the chip is rated for. Dynamic power is not so impressive either, around 20 watts per channel. I think we know what's wrong though, we figured it out. I need more gain on the I need more gain on the Here are the results of the Kingwood for channel 1000 watt IC amplifier. And yeah. Most head units that you can get these days, even way back in the day, we put out as much power as this, so quite ridiculous. Now, we're going to do a subwoofer test and flip this little switch here on the amp, but we were quite afraid that if we did this, that we might cause problems in the atmosphere, start earthquakes, things like that, just like this. You big dummy! Alright guys, there you have my test and video of the Kingwood RK904. What a joke. This is a typical flea market amplifier from back in the 90s and 2000s where they tried to get you, when you're walking through the flea market and you're looking for your deals, you see this amplifier. Wow, it looks like a Rockford Fosgate amp. It has a wood in it, so you're thinking Kenwood. If you really don't know that much, then you might have just grabbed one thinking you're really getting something, you know, a deal that your buddies don't even know about. But in all honesty, these things were junk. But I still think it's cool to be able to have one to show to you guys, even though it's many years after this thing was made and I'm sure they don't sell them anymore, so nobody's gonna buy one anymore anyway. But how cool is it to have end caps that don't cover anything? They're plastic, piece of junk, no good. And it's got a 15 amp fuse and it says 1000 watts. What a joke. But it was fun, fun test, fun to show you guys a comparison of this amp versus the Rockford Fosgate amp that it's trying to look like. And yes, the built-in subwoofer, they forgot switch to be added to the end of that. It has a subwoofer switch, which all it does is adds a low pass filter to the front channels. So you can give your front channel subwoofers 15 watts per channel. Yeah, they'll be thumping. Thanks as always for watching guys, appreciate it. Smash the thumbs up. Not because you like the amp, because you like my video, I appreciate it. Feedback below, comment below. Make sure you subscribe if you like my content. Till next time, you know where I'm at. I'm out of here. Thanks as always to my Patreon supporters, including Alan, William, and Tim. And an extra special thanks to Travis, Jay, Matthew, Marcus, Jesus, Tyre, Soundstream, Registry, High Five, Vega. Big D, I'm out of here. What's going on guys? Derek here from Wilson Audio Labs. Today we have the most ridiculous amp I've ever tested. So stay tuned so you can see it. So have you ever seen an amplifier with a built-in subwoofer? Stay tuned to find out about this Kingwood RK904 with built-in subwoofer and turbocharged audio product. Yeah. Can you do